Hello everyone and welcome back to Venture Africa where we are currently on the last level of the game. You heard me right, we're actually done pretty much. We just have to complete this final level and get the final piece in the ongoing story. I am definitely excited to see what happens next. They've been building up to this for quite a while and uh, I'm definitely excited to see the ending here. Now, this doesn't have to be necessarily the ending ending. We can still come back and play through some of the sandbox levels. Maybe we'll do that as special episodes from time to time. And we can also try to amp up the difficulty for some of these as well. But uh, as for the main storyline, this is the end. And I don't know what we'll be doing after this. We'll have uh, a new series to take this slot, I'm sure. But I'm not totally sure what it is yet. So we'll find out soon enough. But let's go ahead and jump in and see the end to the story. We're going to start and... Oh, man. <laughs> oh. It looks like I, I think I have an indication of where this is going. I don't, I don't read the poems because I'm not fast enough. But I think we shall see in a moment. Of course I will be yours, dear William. I'm surprised you weren't wary of my schoolgirl... I'm surprised you weren't wary of my schoolgirl crush from the very beginning, if I can speak. <laughs> William, I'd do anything to be by your side for the rest of my life. Ah! You truly are the perfect animal for me, William Willoughby. So, they went through trying to find out which, which of these animals are the most perfect, and they fell in love instead. And for you for me, my dear Miss Carolou. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, that that's it's it's a very fluffy story, but you know what? I can't lie. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, what what a perfect end to the story. Let's go ahead and celebrate by placing in some flamingos because we don't have any food at this watering hole by the looks of it. Uh we haven't really looked around. It's actually like a crater area, I think. Um yeah, there's big walls on the outside here. So there's one two it looks like all of them are probably kind of close to the edge here. Oops, the camera's getting a little bit funky here. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's two, three, and four, and five extra watering holes kind of dispersed around the edge. So this will actually be kind of a cool one because it's all around a central location. So we have lions, wildebeest, lots of wildebeest, and uh, giraffes that we need to place. So let's get started on our wildebeest goal. First of all, we'll want to place some of them in. And I have a feeling we're going to be focusing quite heavily on the migratory creatures here because there's just a lot of great space for them to move around. And do we actually have zebras this time? I kind of don't think so. Uh, oh, we do. Okay. So let's go ahead. We will place in another one of these. We got to place a lot more wildebeest because we need to place now another um, crocodile right off the bat. But let's put in, we'll put in the, oops, not the zebra. We'll put in the crocodile now, I think. And we should be able to find one of the other watering holes and start filling that up. Let's go with this one because there's already a bush here. And that means that we can start by placing a couple zebras in and we can probably fill this up even more once we are done with that. And we actually, well, we need another one. So let's put another um, a bush first. And then we can start to fill this up once there's a little bit more of this. Now we should be able to put the spring hair probably in the uh, green area here, the grass right there. And where are they going? Oh, they're going, oh, there's bushes over here too. That's perfect. They're nice and close. So let's start a spring hair population here. In fact, I will also start another one over here if I can find the grass. Oh, it's right up on this hill. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it's a little hard to spot, but let's also start filling up this watering hole. I think the, the strength is going to come from filling up quite a few different ones all at once. Now we've got some trees over here, so I think I'm going to actually put our first giraffes over here. Oh, they're going to go straight for that tree. That makes sense because it's the most uh, nutritious one, I think. But we'll put in another one. And I think we'll actually try filling this up with our next gem as well. So let's put some flamingos here. It looks like we're probably going to have fairly peaceful places for the most part, I think. Let's fill this up a bit more and just keep placing some flamingos. Perfect. Um, actually, that's not the direction I want to go. I want to go down here. Let's put a few. Oh, we have a few in this one. Holy moly, though. This one, this place is certainly not peaceful. Did they just eat the last zebra? I think, or no, the, it's been the wildebeest. Oh, it was, yeah, we only ever had wildebeest here. Okay, that makes more sense. 
um, but let's put a few flamingos in this one as well. And we also need a watering hole for the, um, the baboons here. So let's actually put three of them here and then we'll place in a tree for them. And that should help us out. We can put a couple trees right here and that'll benefit our giraffes as well. And now we need to place some hyenas. So I'm going to put them right over here where they can prey on these spring hairs. And then we're going to start connecting up these areas with some grass so that our wildebeest can easily wander around. Uh, in fact, we need another hyena. So let's put some more grass here. We're going to end up probably just filling this whole area with grass. We need even more hyenas. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we'll probably let them reproduce naturally, I think. I'm going to start getting a few more spring hairs through here. And I think what I'm going to do is find a fairly good wildebeest like this one here and lead him out through here past the hyenas to this other watering hole so that now he's aware of this potential migration path. Um, oh my goodness, that sound and just the sheer number of spring hairs is a little bit insane here. But as long as you can see the water and now know where this route ends, oh my goodness, we don't want you getting eaten by hyenas though, then uh, you should be good here. So I guess I will place another hyena, but I'm actually going to put some grass down this way. Um, did they kill the wildebeest? I don't think they killed the wildebeest, but they might have. Actually, they might have. Well, I hope I hope they'll figure this out in any case. So let's actually put some vultures in, probably at this watering hole, because this is where we are seeing the most death right now. Is this full? No, it's not. So we'll put in another vulture, too. We can place some more grass. Um, no, the wildebeest is up here, actually. Let's put a few bushes out here. And we'll start filling up. Where'd the watering hole go? I've lost it already. Oh, no. It was over. Not, not in this area. Not, not past the bouncy rocks. It was over here somewhere. Oh, right here. Perfect, 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 perfect. So now we need an elephant. So I think we'll probably put the elephant at this watering hole. Is it full? It's not. So let's put our first elephant here. We can put another tree. We'll put some of these. Well, I'm not going to put bushes at this one just yet. But we might put bushes at this one over here. Um, this might be a wise choice for some bushes because then we can get some more zebras over here. Now we need more baboons as well. So I think I will start placing a few at this one. Now let's just put like one for now. Oh, that, that sparked a whole chain reaction. Sometimes it does that. And we'll make sure that we're placing some flamingos in these new watering holes as well. Perfect. There we go. Let's put, I'll put another tree here and then I will uh, fill this up with a little bit more water in a minute. And then we'll check on the flamingo population in the other watering holes as well. We don't have any of the lions we need yet, but we'll probably start to establish their population last because as long as we have a strong base of prey animals, they should be just fine. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Let's look over here. Uh, we do not have very many flamingos here. Put another one of these. And let's start filling up one of the other watering holes somewhere. If we can find it, right here is perfect. Uh, this will actually be a great one to introduce some baboons. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll do that. I'm going to put a bush here as well. We can start placing some zebras. And we'll fill this up with a little more water in a minute. The zebras are a pretty important population to establish, I think. Because if you want to have crocodiles or anything, you need animals that will stay near the water. And the zebra is a great prey animal for that. Uh, they are very good at, um, the, at uh, supporting a crocodile population for the most part. So let's place... We're, we want to start working more on migration routes now, I think. Oh my gosh, okay, that's very, very close. So let's start let's start placing some of this grass out this way as well. I think I need to curve a little bit more this way. And we're actually pretty close now. So let's start putting some wildebeest here. And we'll put several of them in uh, this area. And then we can lead some of the um, more 
uh, some of the less thirsty ones out this way, the ones that have a better uh, water need at the moment, and then they'll see this whole grass path, and we'll kind of connect them so that the idea is eventually probably to just let these animals wander pretty much wherever they wish. And then if we go over here, you'll be able to see eventually the water down there, perfect. So now these will be snow about this path. I'm gonna put an elephant over here. One elephant isn't so bad, but having a lot of them, they can really take over, so you have to be kind of cautious. There's not, oh, we need more bushes there, but there's not enough to support an elephant population there, but there is right here. So let's place a few more bushes by this watering hole. Uh-oh, we've got, we got some dead animals over here for sure. Mostly zebras. Um, I'm going to put one crocodile in the water, and then I'm actually going to place another zebra here. We'll put a few more of these around and just make sure they have enough bushes. We actually need to boost our zebra population now, so let's come over here where we don't actually have any zebras, and we'll start placing some. We need 15 zebra for this goal, and uh, then we should be able to get water and start... Um, Start filling up this last watering hole, which I believe is right here. Is there one more? No, I think this is the last one. So if we we also want to get some spring hairs along this route, don't we? Because it's kind of barren at the moment. So let's put some spring hairs here. They're just a good animal to have roaming around. And uh, they really fill up this grass area and they provide a lot of food for the animals that might need it. That's the main one, so it's not actually going to dry up. Um, but, um, over here, we do, have, okay, we do have quite a, quite a bit of death over here, so we can put, um, we can put some of these guys here. The zebra population is just getting absolutely destroyed over here, though, so that's not very good news. Um, we need to place some more zebras, I think, just to make sure that we are going to have enough. And then the, the wildebeest population, I'm not entirely sure what happened to them, but, um... I think they are probably wandering back and forth. Are they the black dots? They are. Okay, oh, so they are wandering back and forth here. That's really good. Um, these guys are preying off of wildebeest, but there's already a significant population here. What about down at this watering hole? There's quite a few zebras, so I think I'm going to introduce... Oh, there is a crocodile here. So I'll introduce a second one, and um, we'll just see how that goes. Let's place a bush over here. We need more hyenas. Oh, we don't need more hyenas anymore. Let's place a few bushes along here, too, just to kind of supplement the wildebeest's path. We'll place a few spring hairs further down here, and then in this area where there's quite a lot of them up here, we'll place some, some more hyenas and kind of establish a hyena pack over here. And that should help out quite a lot, I think. So let's put another one over here. And then what we want to start doing, there's actually a lot of bushes leading out here anyway. So what we want to do is establish a path here. The wildebeest are pretty good about finding these things on their own, actually. Um, we don't have any zebras at this watering hole. And let's change that here. We'll start establishing a population. Our giraffe population is growing on its own, which is good news. I'm going to place in, because we're going to need more bushes if we're going to have a zebra population, so I'm going to place a crocodile here. It's probably going to kill one of the zebras, but that should trigger, yep, a chain of several of these gems, so that now, okay, where, where needs more water? Because I want to I wanna make sure we get all the watering holes full, so that one needed more water. This is our giraffe population over here, but we need to place a few more zebras so that they don't all die. We've got two right here, at least, if not more than that. I think we might have lost both the original ones we placed, so we need to place several of them here and make sure we're gonna have enough to sustain this population, because otherwise our crocodile is gonna die and that's not gonna be a good thing. Um, let's go back over here. I'm gonna put some more hyena, well, let's put some more spring hairs first. We'll place just a few of them here. Our wildebeest popu population is kind of wavering, but we're starting to establish the means to get a larger population. But we do need to start another hyena pack over here. Did this pack merge? I think it must have. If we go over here, are there still hyenas? 
No, so I, I don't think there are. So I don't think, I think that pack kind of merged with the other one. So we probably need to, def or we definitely need to place a new pack anyway. Uh, how did they drop so low? It's probably because the, when the packs merged, that would make sense. Okay, let's place some more grass here. Kind of get this established. And then what I'm going to do is start making like another spoke out to this um this area over here now is this one this has nothing just yet so i'm gonna take a slight risk and i'm gonna put not you i'm gonna put an elephant in we will place trees right off the bat yeah that was fine that was actually a perfect risk to take and then we'll place a few of these as well We'll put a few flamingos in, but then we're going to put a few zebras as well and get a population here started so that, oops, not hyena, we want to put zebras so that this place can start a population too. Now, we're not going to introduce any predators just yet, but uh, we are going to work towards that because, of course, we need to get our lions in the game as well. So I think as soon as we have gems that are not to any extreme, we will, oh man, we keep losing zebras too. We will try and make sure we can fill up the watering holes as needed. Okay, so this one needs to be filled more. Let's see over here. Nope. Make sure we're not missing anything over here. I don't think we are. What about this one? Oh, there's the one that's really far out. That's what it is all the way over here. Nope. And last but not least, the one over here. Nope. Okay, so all the watering holes are now good. This one needs more uh, bushes, though. So we definitely can't put an elephant there. But we can probably put an elephant here. And this will let us place a few more bushes around this one. Um, we'll actually put another elephant. And then I'm going to use that to place a few more trees. So that should sustain this population pretty well. Let's actually put some baboons here, too. That'll help us with that population a bit. And along this path, I'm going to put some more spring hairs because if we start having to introduce more hyenas, this will help a lot. Now, I'm going to just start kind of spam placing grass throughout this whole area and we'll see how much of it we can fill with that. Actually, we need to place, we need to put trees around here. That's what we don't have is we do not have any baboons here and that might help the uh, crocodile population here, although I think they're preying off the wildebeest pretty well. Um, but let's go up here. We have no lions still. We can put another elephant here probably when we have enough gems and we'll kind of just jump start this herd of elephants a little bit. Uh, that should help us. And then where is there a lot of death that we don't have a lot of vultures? <laughs> um, over here there are vultures. Over here... I don't see a lot of dead things really anywhere. Huh. Well, let's, there's a few over here. So let's introduce a flock of vultures in this area. And we'll see that if we can probably introduce, maybe we'll put our first lion pride. Well, probably not out here. That probably wouldn't be a good idea because we don't, oh, because the crocodiles are killing everything. That's why we don't have too much. We're down to our last zebra. All right, we need to put more zebras. I guess technically there is um, the baboon pack out here too, but I would really rather get more zebra, I think. Uh, let's go ahead. We've got to just spam place some of this grass and kind of just start filling up this whole region with grass pretty much so that there's just plenty of room for the wildebeest to wander around as they please. Wait, we can place one more. Oops, that's a bush. Well, that, that wouldn't be bad to have two. But let's put another zebra. That also helped. Oh my gosh, okay. We, I think we're wasting gems at this point. Let's kind of come over here. Wait, over here works. And then we can put right here, and then that'll connect this area. And then I'm going to put a few bushes out here too. But for the most part, it's just going to be a lot of grass. And we'll put a lot of spring hairs here too. So this will be prime hyena territory. Uh, this will be where we want to keep a lot of our hyenas. Probably where we want to keep a lot of our vultures too. I'm going to see if we can start uh, a zebra herd over here. But I don't know if that will be good or bad. We'll have to see. I'm going to bring these hyenas out this way. And we'll see if we can... Oh, did he just die? Oh, he hit the he hit a wildebeest. 
no, 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 don't, don't hit the wildebeest. Come over this way and uh, come out to these fields which have many spring hares. This'll, this'll be where you guys want to live. All right, let's put a couple of these guys in, but we'll also put a vulture, and then that'll let us place a few more of these. There's so many bushes and so many cro- or there's so few bushes and so many crocodiles here, though. Uh, this is not going to be an ideal place for them, but it'll be a good start. So now let's look over here. We've got a few of them, but I think I'm going to actually put- oh, we need to bring this a little closer, don't we? I think I'm going to put our first lion out here, and we'll kind of get started on that population. There is food they can eat over here, so I think that'll be a good step in the right direction. And um, as long as we can get those herds established, now we probably need a, or not herds, prides. <laughs> I'm getting my words all mixed up now. But I think what we need to do is place some more giraffes, because we are a little low on that right now. And I think we need the wildebeest. It's going to be hard to get the wildebeest to go to this area, actually. This might have been a bit of a mistake. But let's put a giraffe here. We'll put two giraffes here, actually, and then they will start to reproduce naturally over time. We're losing crocodiles somewhere, which is not good for us. Um, we've got two lions. What about this area over here? We could put two lions here. Oh, I think this would be a good spot for some lions. Uh, let's place some lions here, and let's put a crocodile in as well, actually. We can put, we can put, well, we'll put two crocodiles here first, and then we'll kind of finish connecting this area, and that's maybe what I'll connect to, um, to this other area. We can connect, where is the grass? Grass is all along here, okay. Let's put some grass here. The hyena levels should start to go up, but let's put a couple of them out here too, and that'll just kind of jumpstart this. There we go. We can put at least one, but we'll put two for now. And then we'll kind of uh, jumpstart this area. And that should start to connect our wildebeest, I think, a little bit more. We just need to make sure that they have plenty of area to range and wander. So there's five elephants here. There's going to be a few other places, too. There's one right here. Let's put a second elephant at this watering hole, and then we'll just make sure that we place a lot of trees so that they don't, so as this, um, as, as this, what is it, a herd of, ele I think it's a herd of elephants. Uh, as this herd grows, they don't get out, out of hand and uh, take over all the zebra food. They already kind of are. What are you guys doing? Get, get over here. Get over here. Go, go eat from your food. That, your, that's not your food. Where are you going? Okay, we need to place more flamingos too. Uh, we've got quite a few over here. If we go over to this one, we've got quite a few over here. Lots of dead stuff though. Okay, let's place some more, let's place more bushes around this watering hole. And we will place several more zebras, I think. Uh, what do we need? We need more flamingos still. Alright, let's place this here and then... Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and connect the two watering holes on the left-hand side of the map a little bit more than they already are. So let's place some flamingos here. There we go. We got that. And I'm going to start trying to connect this watering hole with uh, the watering hole that's out this way. So I'm going to start placing some grass down here and kind of just paving a path between these because we need our wildebeest to be migrating. And they are actually coming to this one, which is good. But we need them to be migrating through here if we want to sustain a lion population. So let's put some zebras. We'll put quite a few of them here. And that should help as well. Uh, man, lots of, uh, lo lots of animals are reproducing here, which is very good news for us. Let's place this here. Our wildebeest herd is getting... I, is there only one herd of wildebeest? I think there might only be one herd of wildebeest, and I think that's what we need to change because they're, they've they've kind of capped out. They've hit their maximum here, and even though they are all wandering around, they're, um, they're not reproducing anymore because their herd has hit its maximum size. So let's continue to place a few of them in here, and I think we've lost one or two of them, but let's have, like, this guy. He can run down this path and see all this grass... And if he follows it, he'll be able to eventually get to the other area. 
and see that watering hole. So we need another crocodile too. That's going to be a tricky one to pull off. So there's more wildebeest down here. I hope he doesn't merge with this herd. I think we just need to overall place more wildebeest. Um, but there's some more food. So he should be okay now that he's over here. This is the central one. Where would we be able to place a crocodile safely? I think we'll try and place one. Let's put some wildebeest over here. And we'll try and place one right here. I think that this would be a good place for that. Let's place a few more bushes. And is this... This grass goes close enough, right? We can go closer. Okay. Um, we'll place a few more flamingos too because we need like four more of them. And here we go. So let's come over this way and I'm going to place some more grass out this way to kind of just further link these up. We'll also put some more of these spring hairs out just to make sure that if we do end up um, introducing some hyenas at any point, they've got something to eat and just to kind of um, further populate this region. So at this one, we've got one crocodile already. I think I'm going to place another one and then we'll probably place a lot of zebra here. Oh man, now we need to place two crocodiles. I don't know what's happening. We keep losing them somehow. Oops, not a lion. But we have we have a full lion pride sustained, which is good news for us. All right, uh, let's place a few more bushes. Uh oh, that wildebeest just died. Why did the wildebeest die? Now I'm concerned. All right, there's the... Okay, we can place this a little closer. And let's... Oh boy. We've got very few flamingos here. So let's place a few more here in this one. It's hard to get flamingos to coexist with elephants, I think, is part of the problem. So let's put a few more here. What all is happening? Where are the where are the congregations of animals? Um This has a lot of crocodiles. Oh my goodness. Okay, we don't want to put lions there then. We've got our lion pride here, and we've got nine of four giraffes. Do we have giraffes out at this one? I don't think we do. So I'm going to place a few of them here and kind of get this group started. We do want to place more wildebeest too, but we also need to put lions somewhere. And I think this might be a good place eventually if we can get a wildebeest herd moving around more. Um, we've got lots of wildebeest going through here. We've got a fair number of them. So let's put a lion pride right here, I think. We'll just start by placing two of them because the wildebeest do come through here quite frequently. And so if we can get that pride established, then that'll be a very, very good thing. And then this one is still very, very isolated, this this whole area out here. Um, but let's put at least, well, I don't think we're going to sustain a lion pride. I, I don't think that's going to be possible. Not at this one, not when it's so disconnected. Let's put some more flamingos in and we'll see. So I'll put a few more here as well. We just need one more. Come on. No, it went back down. There we go. We got it. Okay. So, and we need even more. Great. Let's start to kind of connect this just a little bit more and make sure we've got this area kind of, um, kind of filled. Oh my goodness. The, okay. We're going to have a hard time getting anything else in, I think. Let's put another giraffe up here. And we'll let them kind of wander around. So we've got 11 of 14. I'll put another one, I think, after this. And then we need to just kind of start focusing on placing other, um, uh oh, do we lose a lion? No, I think we've got, we've got three here. And we've got some, okay, yeah, that's right. So let's go ahead and I think I'm going to just put some more wildebeest in. We don't seem to have a lot over here right now. So I'm going to place a big group in, I think and uh, start a whole herd over here if we can. Because if we can get a second herd established, then I think that'll help us out quite a lot. In fact, I think this might even be herd number three. I think there's two herds roaming around probably. So if we can get another one established, that'd be very, very good. And that'll help with our lion situation as well. Again, this is gonna be a bit of a long episode, but I think we're almost there. We're definitely getting there. Our flamingo population is like abysmal right now. It's dropped very, very low. I don't think we're gonna necessarily be able to get it up again. Thankfully, the giraffes seem to be surviving just fine. They kind of just exist. Like, there's not too much that's going to mess with the giraffes. As long as they have food and water and space away from other giraffes, they're going to be fine. <laughs> so, they're, they're, they're probably my favorite animals to deal with in this because they're so low maintenance. Um, 
they're even easier to care for than the spring hairs because they don't reproduce to such a ridiculous level. So there we go. We've got quite a large herd of wildebeest now, and this should help out. I think we've got our full second pride alliance, so I'm going to then introduce one right around here because we have a lot of animals that are coming to and from this region and uh, some of them are carnivores but i think they'll be able to prey off of like the baboons and whatnot so if we get this started oh and i said that about the giraffes and then three of them just died or whatever i think maybe they got in a fight actually because it looks like that it looks like those two groups in the top were kind of coming coming towards each other and could have clashed so let's place some lions here. I'm actually going to place a third lion because I'm a little worried some of them might die. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll put one more in and then we'll check out the giraffe population. We'll let the wildebeest herds grow just a little bit because I think they will. And then we'll go down here and see. Wait, or let's look over here. Are these? What are these? Oh, there's lots of trees. This would be the perfect spot for a giraffe herd. Why, why, why did I not think of that? Or did I? And they just, oh, I think I did, and they just wandered off, probably. Um, but let's put, let's put at least two or three giraffes here. The wildebeest's numbers are dropping. Great. <laughs> let's, um, let's put in some giraffes over here, though, and get at least, I'll at least put two, and then hopefully they will reproduce, and their numbers will continue to go up. Um... We've lost a lot of wildebeest, so I'm going to start placing several of them in here. Uh, I think a lot of them are probably going to get taken by the crocodiles, but if we can get any, a herd established, I guess we have quite a few out here. But I just want to get a large number of them kind of roaming around out here, because I think that's going to be our biggest issue. The lions should continue to raise their population on their own, I say as their numbers randomly drop. But I think that'll be okay. It's mostly the wildebeest that we just need to focus on. We can place a few lions or a few giraffes in. Oh yeah, see their numbers are going back up. We can place in a few lions or a few giraffes if need be. But the wildebeest are what's going to be most difficult to uh, keep up with. Because you can see every time we put one down, pretty much one of them dies. So we're actually, we're at 29 right now though. So that's pretty good. 29 of 34. So we can keep placing them here. And eventually, I think all the carnivores in this area are getting pretty full, and so they're not going to just immediately be dying anymore. Oh, some of them did, though. <laughs> but we should be able to get more in this area. There's so many hyenas. Oh, my goodness. But I think we are slowly making headway. We have enough giraffes now. We have one lion short, but we're very, very, very nearly there. We just got to place in a few more um, of these uh, wildebeest to stabilize their numbers, and then we should be good to go. So we'll keep doing that for now. And 33 and 11. So we, as long as the giraffes stay stable... Oh, no, we went back down to 32. But we're very, very close, you guys. And I think the lions should probably have another baby pretty soon. The one herd. Oh, they're up They're up to number, you guys. They're, they're probably not going to stay there. Yep, no, they didn't. But uh, as we're getting to the point where we're overbalancing. They're dying off, which is good. Because if we're releasing them faster than the predators can eat them, then that's excellent news for us. That means that they'll have a better chance. As long as some of them get to adulthood. This is basically, this is the same premise as the reason a lot of animals have a lot of babies. Uh, if you know a lot of them aren't going to survive, then it makes sense to have a lot of babies. Oh, and there we go. We've actually finished it. Uh, but yeah, basically, if you place enough, then that guarantees that hopefully at least a few of them, or near guarantees, that at least a few of them should make it to adulthood. And that, that's the same reason like, like why rabbits will have so many, because they're such a big prey animal for a lot of creatures. There's many creatures that eat them. Hopefully there will be a, a, such a sheer number that not all of them will get eaten. But anyway, we have completed this last one. So, oh, and they, then they kind of hinted at uh, the Arctic waters. So I can't remember if they actually, um, if these characters actually returned for the Arctic one or not, but we'll have to see. Uh, a lot of you guys have said you do want me to play Venture Arctic. I remember loving that game, so I'd love to play Venture Arctic. I'll be doing that soon. Maybe not immediately, but soon. 
and we'll go ahead and jump back in with that at some point. But for now, we have complete Adventure Africa. So let me know if you guys want to see any of the uh, the sandbox levels. We can always come back and play those as specials. But for now, we finished the main storyline. And I like how there's just like a dash of story to kind of um, kind of tie all these levels together as even as you're working with the animals. And it was it was a very clever way of explaining certain facts about them as well. Uh, but I had a lot of fun playing this game. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it as well. I definitely want to come back to it at some point in the future, but we made it through all 25 levels of the main game, which was not easy. I still don't think I could beat it on hard mode. It was just insane. Uh, that that would be, if, if you can beat this game on a hard mode, you are a genius. <laughs> uh, I don't think I am. <laughs> but, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I can come back and try that at some point in the future. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode and with it, the main series uh, for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.